asked for it, it's here. The NK special. I got Shannon to agree, and she did. All the questions on this segment, except for when I talk to the kids, is all about NK. If you like this video, click like, ring the bell for notifications, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. See you on the other side. Hey Shan, thanks for visiting again. Today I thought it'd just be cool if we did something just on Nicole Kessinger. I'm going to call her NK. Lots and lots of people have questions about her. Um, I went through a bunch of stuff through the questions I got and um, have some questions I want to throw by you. Uh, is that okay? And first, let's say hello to everybody. So Shan, would you like to say hello to the people on YouTube? Is no artist who she is. Okay. Well, for I want to know. Do you know, like, from where you are? Can you look back, or can you look into things, and see uh, what Nicole has done that you're not aware of from your lit from the life part where you are? Now, you know, obviously, you knew that Nicole was having an affair with your husband. Everyone says that affair was just a few weeks, but did you know that she, months before she started her affair with your husband, that she had been looking you up on Google, and she had started watching your videos, and started looking up all kinds of information about you to see if she could find things like your date of birth, your history, who your parents were, and all kinds of things about you growing up. Did you know about that? Um, do you know that a lot of people believe that because of her connections that she was the one who decided that she wanted your husband and that your husband was very sort of manipulated by her and driven to uh, destroy your family and to kill you and the children. What do you think of that? She makes a big deal about how she went to the police first when she found out you were all murdered. But when she got to the police, she had deleted all the messages, everything, all of her correspondence between her and Chris, like they had never really had a deep connection. Just sort of like, I knew this guy. How do you feel about that? I'm not seeing a member. We talked before about how she was looking at wedding dresses. If a person meets someone and a week later they're looking at wedding dresses, to you does that sound like somebody who's just known somebody else for a week? Or do you know that she's known him longer than that? <laughs> Okay, now this is a sensitive question. Also, around the same time that she was looking up wedding dresses, she was also looking up how to do anal sex without it hurting too much. What do you think about that? <laughs> She also claims that she had no idea that you were pregnant and he gave her supposedly the line, had already left you. Even psychologists who t watched her talk believe that she's completely lying when she says that. Do you have any proof now from the other side that you know that she was lying? She took her up She couldn't 
So let's get into some of the nitty gritty. All right. Tell me about Nicole and what happened the night you died. Was she in the house? You know I can't hear the spirit box until I play it back. So I was wondering um, if I asked the same thing over and you already told me. Does she have anything to do with a the actual murder of you or the children? Did she plan it? Make him think he planned it? What happened? What part did she have in the planning? Um, last time I asked you something about her father, if her father and his company were involved, and you told me not to ask. Uh, I'm going to ask again anyway, and is there any way you can answer without getting anyone in trouble? So I just want you to think about that. Is there any way you can answer me without anyone getting in trouble? I am not saying merely what happens. I am not the wise to such. He never would be able to look to me in every way. It's no one, and in fact, we can't go. Not so he never would be able to look in some case. Nicole never talks about her mother. Is her mother uh, estranged from her? Did her mother have anything to do with this? Is there an issue with that? So how does it <sighs> Did Chris really, you know, kill you because he wanted to be with Nicole? Or did Nicole say anything to him about getting the house or anything like that? <laughs> Now, I don't know how much you followed the Scott Peterson case. But there was a woman named Amber Fry who was Scott Peterson's girlfriend. And after he killed his wife and unborn child, Scott Peterson said he killed his family because he wanted to be with Amber Fry. And after Scott went to jail, Amber Fry made millions on a book deal of that. Well, while she was still having a relationship, before he, he did away with your family, she was Googling and studying Amber Fry's book deal, how Amber Fry got her book deal and all of that. How does that make you feel? I mean, that when I heard that, I was floored. <laughs> There have been rumors that her 
family was involved with the mob. Her family was involved with um, all kinds of unsavory situations and everything from satanic uh, rituals to uh, the mafia to the Illuminati to every type of underground organization. Is any of that true? And if it is, could you name the organization that they were connected to? Is there anything else we need to know today? Because this is our, our NK special. So um, if there's anything you'd like us to know, please let us know now. Okay, um, all right, Shan, we're going to say goodbye right now, and if there's more, we'll catch it in another session. But right now, I'd like to say goodbye. Is it okay if we say hi to the kids? I know, unless it's a definite no, I'm assuming it's okay. So if it's okay for us to say uh, hi to the kids, we're going to say goodbye to you now. Okay, so bye, Shan. Love ya. Hey, Bella. Hey, Cece. Nico, anyone there today? Hey, did I hear Nico's there? Is that what I heard? Hi, Nico. Hey, Bella, is that you and Cece? Are you having fun today? I'm just coming just to say hi. What you doing today? Is it sunny over there? Oh, sounds like it's sunny. Are you having a picnic? Oh, do you have some baby dolls? Are you playing with your baby dolls? Are you playing with Nico? Is Nico playing with you? Oh, sounds like you said he's playing inside. Playing musical chairs? So then what are you playing? Are you playing with your pet rhinoceros? <laughs> I think you have a rhinoceros. Uh, do you have a swing set? How's Carmel, your cat? Oh, I'm glad he's doing good. It's hard to hear you today, sweetheart. Can I hit talk to Bella? I know it's good to hear you, Cece, but sometimes it's hard to hear you. Can I talk to Bella? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to talk to you later, sweetheart. I love you guys. Love you. Bye. What do you think? Mind blowing. That's all I can say. Mind blowing. I have nothing else to say. Subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber, I love you guys. You are the best subscribers in the world. Comment. I love you guys. Bye.